Herzlich willkommen und ein fröhliches Hallo von eurem Herringway. Wir spielen Batman weiter und ja, sind heute dann vermutlich ein bisschen draußen unterwegs. Nachdem wir beim letzten Mal äh, ja dieser Veranstaltung in unserem Anwesen äh, beiwohnen durften und ähm, uns ein wenig in unserer Betthöhle das erste Mal ne, nicht wirklich umgucken konnten. Irgendwie, wir saßen die ganze Zeit nur vom Computer. Also so wie im richtigen Leben. Nein. Und äh, ja. So. Uns wurde eine geheime, eine mysteriöse Nachricht zugespielt. Wir sollen uns mit einem alten Schulfreund treffen. Oswald Cobblepot. Er hat gesagt, ja hey, Bruce, komm mal irgendwie so um 18 Uhr, glaube ich, in den Park. Lass mal quatschen. Ähm, der gute Oswald soll in den letzten Jahren irgendwie eine sehr bewegte Vergangenheit hinter sich gehabt haben. Irgendwie, äh... Ja, mehrmals ins Gefängnis gekommen sein, bla bla bla. Äh, mal gucken, was der so tatsächlich von uns will. Ein schöner Park. Where are you? Sehr, sehr, sehr entzückend. Ich glaube, das kann man durchaus so festhalten. Das ist so eine Gegend. Da treibt man sich doch gerne rum. Oh yeah. Aktuelle Zeitung. Der Typ da links macht mich nervös. Ich weiß, das sollte er nicht. Aber irgendwie, er macht mich nervös. Deswegen gehen wir jetzt verdammt nochmal einfach in diesen Park rein. Und dann ist gut. Mir wäre irgendwie wohler gewesen, wenn Oswald dann vielleicht doch zu uns gekommen wäre. Aber egal. Ach, verdammt. Gebe ich ihm was? Ich gebe ihm was. Thank you, Sir. Aber nicht gleich wieder alles versaufen, ne? Äh, oder so. Hust, hust. Ach, Mann. Gotham City halt. Verspäte mich, treffen uns an der Statue. Woher hat uns. Woher hat unsere Nummer? Was ist das für eine komische Statue übrigens? Ähm, Einkaufswagen. Außerdem, was fällt ihm ein, sich zu verspäten? Wir haben uns schon verspätet. Es war sechs Minuten nach. Oh, cool. Ein Dealer. Yay. Wir können Kontakte knüpfen. Oder so. Ähm. Hallo, vertrauenserweckender junger Mann. Haben Sie zufälligerweise etwas, was ich auch haben möchte? Hey. Beat it. Okay, dann halt nicht. Aber im Gegensatz zu deinen übrigen Kunden hätte ich wenigstens das Geld dafür. Nur mal so. Also, sollte man sich vielleicht vorher überlegen. Mhm. Tafel. Der Cabot Park. Da wurden, glaube ich, irgendwelche Dinge jetzt über den Park erzählt. Leider konnte ich den Text nicht lesen. Mhm. Ja. Er ist nicht gerade ein Freund von diversen Graffiti-Künsten. Unser lieber Bruce. Muss er aber vielleicht auch nicht sein. So, ja, dann schauen wir uns halt die Statue an. Von Namen sah sie jetzt auch gar nicht mehr so merkwürdig aus wie von Weitem. Watch Wallet Cash. What 
this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! I oh. think that'll do! Stay down! Seems to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Ow. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Ah, <sighs> This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Let him choke on it. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction. You break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, 
We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Was hat er vor? Die Pressekonferenz für das neue Krankenhaus fängt bald an. Auto wartet südlich des Parks. Das war ein sehr seltsames Gespräch mit unserem alten Freund. Und... Ich weiß nicht so recht, was ich davon halten soll, aber okay. Schön, dass er uns vorgewarnt hat. Oder so. Future Home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. Oh, wir haben so ein cooles Auto. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Aber sicher doch. Oder so, irgendwie. Was war das für eine komische Anfrage von Alfred? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat and tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Yay, bravo. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Ooh, ich bin so ein schlechter Mensch. 
Ich habe ihm die Hand gegeben. Ähm, ja. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Cool. Warum? Wo kommen auf einmal diese Gerüchte her? Verdammt nochmal. Mein Geld ist nicht schmutzig. Glaube ich. <lacht> hey, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand you're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Ich hoffe, dass ihr euch nicht zu genau hier umguckt. Sonst könnten gewisse Dinge auffallen. Wie zum Beispiel so eine Höhle unter meinem Anwesen. Aber was soll's. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this. Ich habe mich schon gefragt, wann die Geschichte 
nochmal gezeigt wird. Ich meine, das gehört einfach dazu zum Batman, ne? Irgendwie muss gezeigt werden, wie seine Eltern sterben. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Ja, aber... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a wayne Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage you can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Normalerweise bin ich ja nicht so ein Fan der Presse, aber na gut. On the record then. Whenever you're ready. Man muss sich jetzt nur sehr geschickt ausdrücken, wäre irgendwie besser. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. Ich bin gerade die ganze Zeit überlegen, ob sie unser Love Interest in dieser Geschichte wird. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Vielleicht wusste er es auch nicht. Es schien ja so, als wäre er übergangen worden. Oder denke ich da jetzt irgendwie ein ganz klein bisschen zu unbekümmert? Ich weiß es nicht genau. Ungeheuerliche Vorwürfe jedenfalls, die der Familie Wayne hier entgegengebracht werden. Und da wir der einzige Verbliebene der Familie Wayne sind, müssen wir das Ganze ausbaden. Verdammt, aber egal. Naja. Hat ja keiner gesagt, dass es immer sehr leicht wäre, wenn man einfach nur reich wäre, ne? Nee, deswegen. Mal gucken, wie wir das Ganze aufdröseln können, ob sich das Ganze überhaupt aufdröseln lässt. Und, äh, ja. Für den Moment machen wir dann aber erstmal wieder eine Pause und setzen das Abenteuer dann beim nächsten Mal fort. Ich sag dann jetzt erstmal wieder Tschö mit Ö und hoffentlich bis ganz, ganz bald.